Listening Library presents Who is Ruth Bader Ginsburg? by Patricia Brennan Demuth. Read for you by Barbara Heller. Who is Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Like every kid, Ruth always looked forward to her birthday. When the special day came along, she and her mother loaded up bags of ice cream. Then, they brought the treats to the place where Ruth celebrated all her birthdays. It wasn't filled with balloons or wrapped presents. It was at a nearby orphanage, a home for children who didn't have parents. Sometimes, Ruth wished for birthday parties like her friends had, but the smiles on the children always changed her mind. Life wasn't always easy for Ruth's family, either. Her parents were hard-working immigrants. They rented an apartment in Brooklyn, New York. But Ruth's mother taught her to care for others who had even less. It made Ruth want to do something when she grew up, something to change people's lives. But how could a girl make a big difference? When Ruth was a child, girls faced lots of closed doors. Back then, there were police men, male men, and fire men. Doctors, dentists, pilots, lawyers, soldiers, nearly all were male. Ruth never dreamed that one day she'd beat the odds and become a lawyer. But that's what she did, and it was just the beginning. Ruth was tiny, soft-spoken, and always polite. Yet, when it came to standing up for people's rights, she was a warrior. She fought to change laws to give women an equal chance in society. One by one, she opened doors. Then, she walked right through many of those open doors herself, all the way to the Supreme Court. Today, Ruth Bader Ginsburg is so famous that millions know her just from her initials, RBG. What is the Supreme Court? The Supreme Court sits in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. It's part of the judicial branch of government. The other two branches are the legislative branch, Congress, and the executive branch, which includes the president. A group of nine judges, called justices, sit on the court. There are no juries. The justices have the final say on matters of law in the United States. The framers of the Constitution wanted the Supreme Court to be independent of politics, so Justices are allowed to hold their jobs for life. They can't be removed for making unpopular decisions. The Supreme Court has a big job to do. It makes sure the Constitution is followed by Congress, the President, and all 50 states. Its decisions affect the lives of all Americans. Chapter 1 An Immigrant Family the future judge known as RBG was born a frisky baby on March 15, 1933. Her birth name was Joan Ruth Bader, but as a baby, she kicked so much that her big sister Marilyn nicknamed her Kiki. Later at school, she started going by her middle name because there were so many Jones in her class. Ruth was the name that stuck. Ruth grew up in Brooklyn, a bustling part of New York City. She lived with her parents, Nathan and Celia Bader, on the bottom floor of a two-family house. Their landlady lived right above them. Their block was filled with hard-working immigrant families like theirs. Ruth's shy, gentle father had been born in Ukraine, near Russia. Nathan was forbidden from going to school there because he was Jewish. In the United States, he went to night school to learn English and become a citizen. Ruth's mother, Celia, was born in America just months after her family arrived from Poland. They were also fleeing because they were Jewish. Young Ruth learned early from her parents to treasure America's freedoms. Like the other fathers in the neighborhood, Nathan Bader left for work each morning. Nathan made a living selling fur hats and coats. But in the 1930s, during the Great Depression, most Americans were too broke to afford them. Nathan had to work late just to make ends meet. Celia stayed home to raise her two daughters. Sadly, when Ruth was two, her six-year-old sister died. After that, Celia pinned all her hopes on little Ruth. Immigrants in New York City Millions of immigrants flooded into the United States at the beginning of the night. 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?